Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, this is going to be some useful information for the end times. Uh, those of you that are Bible students, uh, a lot of this is going to be old stuff. And I don't know, it, you know, it's always good to uh, mark certain Bible verses in a Bible so that you could show others. But uh, the Bible declares that uh, there would be a famine in the land in the last days, not of bread, but of hearing the words of God. And I totally believe that. Absolutely, and that's in the book of Amos, if I remember correctly. And yes, that's in a Amos 8 and verse 11. Chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Well, guess what? You got 666 different versions of the Bible. Uh, you know, people don't even know what a real Bible is anymore. I mean, it's a shame. But uh, personally, I trust the Geneva and the King James. People love to say, oh, you're King James only. No, I like the Geneva too. I just don't pay much attention to the notes. But I think the uh, translation's good. Um, and I'm not an expert by any means, but, uh, I've heard the Septuagint is pretty good for the, uh, Old Testament. I don't know. Being that, uh, some of the Greeks were Judah, why not? In the book of Joel, which is near the book of Amos, you know, the minor prophets, those are those little teeny tiny books just before the New Testament that nobody ever reads. There's a lot of prophecy in those books, people. They are well worth reading, uh, especially the book of uh, Hosea. Hosea, a love story. Christ and his bride. All right, Joel 3, 6. The children also of Judah... And the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. See, some of the children of Judah and Jerusalem were sold as slaves to the Greeks, Grecians. And, uh, you know, did they ever leave and come back? No. No, I, I think... And I think a lot of the Greeks were uh, Hebrews. That is probably uh, possibly part of Dan, too. I don't know. But the Greeks gave us our New Testament. And the big push today is, uh, oh, let's go back to the Hebrew. Well, it, <laughs> the New Testament wasn't written in Hebrew. And if you want to keep the laws of Moses and uh, you've broken one law and you don't have Christ, well, you're a sinner and you don't have a savior. But tell that to the Hebrew roots people. So let's take a look at some things. You know, I've been shadow banned or, uh, and or booted off of so many different platforms. I can't even keep track uh facebook gone twitter gone yeah i got a i had or maybe still do but you can't find them a bunch of videos on twitter i mean every time i loaded a video to youtube it automatically loaded to twitter but then i got some you know who's complaining about my um anti you know what and next thing I know, nobody could find my videos anymore. Um, 
what's really, really sickening is uh, all the so-called Christian groups on Gab uh, quoting Jesus' anti-you-know-what, and I got booted out of several so-called Christian groups on Gab, which is why I think Gab's a fake site to begin with. Um, but also, there is a website that I use a lot called the King James Bible Online. They got a discussion page. Do you know that I've been banned from them, uh, the discussion page twice for quoting Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's anti you know what. Yeah, <laughs> makes you wonder, you know. Uh, I'm actually looking forward. I know it sounds bad, but I'm actually looking forward to the uh, you know who's cutting off some of the heads of some of these people that. Uh, bless them well maybe they won't you know maybe they'll end up denying christ i not a hundred percent sure but um you know peter denied christ three times but later he repented of that and uh actually died for the faith and you know what if you die for the faith that is pretty much a guaranteed ticket to heaven you know, when, when you're on that train to heaven and the conductor comes by and says, ticket, please. He says, oh, okay, you died for the faith. Your ticket gets punched, right? Straight to the pearly gates, I guess you could say. I mean, yeah, that's a metaphor, right? Here's a good one. Luke chapter 12. And we could read more, but verse 9, Jesus says, but he that denieth me, he that denieth me before men, shall be denied before the angels of God. So, if you deny Christ to save your life, read Matthew 24, that uh, Christ will deny you before the angels of God. Well, I don't know this guy. You know? He, he, uh, he was asked if he knew Jesus, and he, he says, nope. So, it's going to be funny when uh, there's, a, there's a saying, everybody's a Christian until the guillotine comes out. Yeah. Yeah, makes you wonder, you know. There are, oh, in case you're not familiar with it, there's a thing called the Noahide Laws. Very interesting. Having any other God is punishable by death. Method of execution, beheading. And people think it's a joke. Well, it's not really a real law. Then why is every president since... Uh, I know for a fact every president since Reagan has... Uh, signed a piece of paper with the you-know-who's around uh, acknowledging this law. They called it ed Education Day. Who's education? The Antichrist education? Yeah. But uh, those that bless, those that curse Jesus and deny him, well, may they get their reward. They could either die for the faith or they can deny their faith. Either way, they will get what they deserve. I don't make those decisions. Lucky for them. But seriously, King James Bible Online bans Chaplain Bob for quoting Jesus. You know, these people make me sick. They really do. They, they really do. I, I think it was Sermon Audio. I'm not sure. Where I was loading my uh, audios. And I it was a paid account. And I was, uh, they deleted my channel. Oh, you're too controversial. 
Oh, reading reading the Bible is too controversial, huh? But do they have a problem with Billy Goat Graham? No, they got lots of Billy Goat Graham. You know, so I must be doing something right. So whatever. And then you got the once saved, always saved, eternal security crowd. But Jesus said in Matthew 24, 13, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But uh, they don't want to hear that. So, And then you got the... Uh, I was a... Uh, I actually went to Tennessee to be part of a church. I liked the uh, one, a couple of the sermons of the, the pastor. Found out he was, uh, well, he let's just say he was, you know, part of the pre-trib rapture crowd. And they love to tell you, oh, I'm not looking for the Antichrist. I'm looking for Jesus Christ. Well, the Bible teaches that the Antichrist comes first. So the Antichrist must be your Messiah, your Christ, if that is the way you, you know. But in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are asleep, the dead, and remain unto the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them which are asleep. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of our Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep, you know, the dead. Um, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Yeah, every secret rapture happens with a shout, right? With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Caught up together with them in the clouds. To meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. See, this right here destroys the pre-trib rapture. Absolutely destroys it. You know, the trump of God. There are seven trumps in the Bible. And the Bible actually teaches that... Uh, Christ comes at the last trump. But they don't want to hear that. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 50, 51. Uh, 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump seven trumps which one do you think's the last one uh the first one before the 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 yeah the preacher rapture one yeah for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be say uh changed well the dead in christ get risen up first uh, you know, the pre-trib rapture just, I don't know. It, it just, it's impossible. But you can't tell them that because God blinds them. So if we're not taken up in the air, it's the wrong Messiah, period. And the Bible clearly teaches the man of sin, the son of perdition, the antichrist, the beast, comes first and if you really want to mess up the uh, pre-tribbers you could ask them well if the you know if if we're raptured up in the heaven what about all those people on the earth that are getting killed for their faith during the tribulation uh when do they get raptured up and they'll say well you know yeah they fly up you know when we're having the marriage supper of the lamb having dinner they're they're flying up flying up flying up but the bible doesn't teach that there's two resurrections there's one before the thousand year reign of christ and then there's one after it's called the first resurrection yeah yeah 
There's the first resurrection is yeah. I mean, come on. Oh, and if you want proof that the man of sin comes first, Second Thessalonians chapter two. You know, uh, we're quoting a lot of Paul here, and this is why, among other reasons, why the so-called Hebrew roots people oftentimes deny Paul. Paul puts a, puts to rest a lot, a lot of heresies going on today. But, uh, you know, if you don't like Paul, well, maybe you don't like the guy that called Paul to be an apostle, you know, Christ. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Now there's people who tell you that, oh, well, the day of Christ and the day of the Lord is two different things. Uh, well, yeah, sort of. It's the same event, but those that are in Christ, it's the day of Christ. But the, those that are outside of Christ, that are not in Christ, it's the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is judgment upon the wicked that have no covering for their sin. Whereas the day of Christ is the day of the resurrection, the new bodies, and basically their salvation. So, as that the day of Christ is at hand, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come. What day? The day of Christ. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Guess what? We're there. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. You know who the first son of perdition was called? Judas. Yeah. Yeah. He was called the son of perdition too. But this is the second son of perdition. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. The Antichrist comes first before Jesus does, period. But you can't tell that to the pre-tribbers, because guess what? When the Antichrist comes, they're going to be worshiping him. I'm pretty certain. You watch all your big name TBN preachers, uh, Sid Roth, it's supernatural. Oh, the Messiah has come. Let us worship him. You watch, people. You watch. And, you know, the Lord's going to blind and deceive those that don't love his truth. I mean, it, he, he does. I, you know, it took me a while to figure out figure uh figure that one out but once uh somebody showed me some of the verses it was clear plain as day second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9 even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders so you know miracles false miracles and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. What is the love of the truth? The words of Christ. And for this cause, God, not Satan, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Oh, yeah. They wanted to live in pleasure. Hey, all you got to do is believe in Jesus. Once saved, always saved. Eternal security. 
there's actually people that teach um, that uh, if you're white, you're Israel, and you're you're all Israel's going to be saved. Even those that don't believe in Jesus, they're going to be saved. Uh, praise a Jesus uh, or Yeshua or whatever. Yeah, I'm not in that crowd. New, no. uh, uh. Jesus had a lot of things to say about all that. So. Jesus in Matthew 7 and verse 6 said, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. And we're not talking about four-legged dogs with a tail that wags when you come home. Those kind of dogs I like. Uh, <laughs> you know what uh, are called dogs in Scripture? Two-legged dogs. Uh Males that uh, like to put their male body parts into the wrong hole, I guess you could say. I hate to even say the S word, you know, after the city of Sodom. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that kind of thing. They're, they are likened unto dogs. God will give them strong delusion that they'll believe a lie. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. You know, rend, tear, rip you to pieces. Do you know what a, a wild hog's got strong teeth and can tear you to pieces? Yeah. Matter of fact, they go out and... Wild hogs kill uh, rattlesnakes, if you can believe that. Yeah, they do. They tear them to pieces. Perhaps you remember the Disney movie Old Yeller. I don't think I ever watched it, but I know that Old Yeller gets killed at the end. So, Second Chronicles 19, verse 2. And Jehu, the son of Hanai, the seer. What's a seer? Uh, well, a seer is um, an Old Testament word for prophet. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, good King Jehoshaphat. And he says, shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Should we help the ungodly and love those that hate the Lord Jesus Christ? Good question. Therefore is wrath, wrath upon thee from before the Lord. Do we bless and love those that hate the Lord Jesus? God forbid. But a lot of churches do. A lot of churches do. So, one day, all those that teach... Oh, <laughs> Uh, the pre-trib rapture people that teach that, do you know that every single one of them is a false prophet? Every single one of them. Well, they're not a false prophet yet. But when it fails to happen, they will become a false prophet. And you know what the Bible says to do with false prophets? Um, it talks about getting stoned. But uh, we're not talking about skunkweed, if you catch my drift. No. Yeah, I, I used to know about skunkweed, but uh, that was a long time ago. And long ago and far away. Yeah, skunkweed. So it's always a good idea to mark those Bible verses down uh, so that you can find them later. I mean, I don't. I probably should be memorizing these verses, but I don't. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm lazy, but as long I've got them marked down in some Bibles. Some of them are in storage. Some of them are, uh, yeah. Well, I've got them, but as long as I've got a online uh, way to look things up, I'm good to go. But one day the internet's going to be off. So, 
And when the internet goes off, look out because that's going to be the purge. That's when they're going to, they don't want everybody communicating with each other. And that's when they're going to uh, round up the, uh, the wrong crowd as they put it, I guess you could say. So, all righty. I think that's about it. And uh, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.